Good morning. We're here in Margate, New Jersey. I'm here with my friend Tom. Tom is hidden behind that piece of equipment there. And Tom's son, Kevin, owns Titan Construction and is going to be putting in the pilings to build a house on this location. And we are here today to use that nice piece of equipment to mark where the pilings are to be driven or vibrated in, as they say, and uh, locations according to the architect. Anyhow, more to come on this later. Thank you. Okay, basically what occurred is that device emitted a uh, beam that we put over top of this marker here. And that gave it a point and it knows exactly where that is in relation to that point we just marked. And then we took this second known point and used that device to know where this point is so it knows where it is. And now we can mark where the pilings need to go in relation to the lot. Tom, well, a fisherman did, didn't make it, and other assorted trash, amazing. This is the piece of imp uh, equipment, it's called uh, Topcon. Anyhow, that controls that. And that does all the Brainiac, or, well, maybe this does all the Brainiac. Good morning. To give you a better explanation of that device, basically, there is a handheld unit that knows exactly what the plot of land is and where the pilings are, basically, from the CAD design. So the computer-aided design, the architect listed where the piling should go in relation to the lot. And we marked one corner and it, the machine emitted a beam that we held a prism over top of that point level and it measured the distance and the angle. Then we went to the next point and held the prism over top of that point and it measured the distance and the angle. So it knows where it is in relation to the two corner pieces of the lot. And since, there, the, since the pilings are already marked out on the plot of land in the CAD drawing, it now knows where each one of those pilings need to be in relation to that piece of equipment that is emitting the beam. And all we have to do is hold the prism over top of a point and it says 2.5. And if it's meaning a two closer to or away, it says two or away and then a number. And if it's 0.5, that's a half a foot, so six inches. If it says 2.5, it needs to go two and one half feet. 
closer to if it says to away if it said uh, it needs to move farther away from it and it says left or right in the same measurements so once you get them to say zero zero it is exactly over top of where the pilings are and the pilings are numbered on the site plan in this particular case we went from 201 uh, up to basically 225, but really 224 because there were 24 pilings. And um, it is an extremely precise piece of equipment. It uses the laser to, and angle to measure the distance to the prism, but yet it knows where it is in GPS terms also. It is quite a remarkable piece of equipment. One person can now go out and lay out this whole thing. We did it ourselves together, but basically I held the thing and waited for it to say zero, zero, shoe, Tom. Tom said, yep, that's where it is, and marked it, and then we went and drove a stake into the ground. Uh, it is very cool technology. And it basically makes a, a surveyor can survey by himself and be extremely accurate. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you very much for watching and you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.